Hello class, my name is Blake Morton, uh, Thomas Morton on there. Sorry for this weird angle, I needed lighting. Now, topic I chose for this activity is how to take off and install a new roof. But the first thing you wanna do is prepare. That is get all the tools out of the truck that you're gonna be using for this job, get them ready, get everything they need, get them plugged in. That way you don't have to stop working to do this. Next thing to do to prepare is to lay heavy duty tarps all the way around the house. Could take multiple tarps, depends on the square footage of the house. Once you've done this, you can get them to take off your roof. Now, let me elaborate. I'm talking about shingle roofs in this presentation. To take off a roof, you're gonna need a shovel and a hammer. If you don't want a shovel, use what you prefer. And also, if you're gonna be on a steeper roof, you're gonna to wanna to grab, uh, grab yourself a cushion. This will keep you from sliding off the roof. Um, if you work for bigger companies and have to be OSHA approved, you're required to have a harness. Now, once you got these things, get up on the roof and you're gonna to wanna to go to the ridge. The ridge is where the two slopes are gonna meet, the two pitches are gonna meet, it's the top of the roof. You're gonna take those ridge cap off. And the reason for this is it'll give you a good starting place to get up under these shingles and to pry them off. Don't take off more than you can recover. This can end up in a lawsuit. Take off exactly what you plan on to recover for that day. Now, you're gonna have a dump trailer. It's gonna be under you or within eight to 10 feet of you. So when you take it off these shingles, it'll slide into the dump trailer. You can pile them up, slide or push them in. Um, or you can just pick them up and throw them in. Now, the reason for them tarps the tarps is to catch the excess pieces that break off when you're tearing off and all the nails and all the shingles that miss the dump trailer. If you don't have a tarp, you're going to have to do this by hand. It takes a lot longer. You're going to have to use a magnet to roll across the ground to pick up these nails. And you're not going to get every nail, and that's not what you want. You want 100% customer satisfaction. Tarps are easier. They get everything. You ball them up, throw them in the dump trailer, call it a day. Now, once these shingles are off, you're going to have nails that are poked up. It could be stables. depends on what the previous roof was installed with. You cannot leave these nails there. That will cause leaks, future leaks and holes in the brand new shingles and it could also end up as a lawsuit. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna get a hammer. You can use whatever you prefer. Um, I use a hammer because when I get tired of pulling them up, I start beating them in because there's a very low chance you're gonna hit that nail again. So you're gonna wanna pull these nails up and you're gonna wanna hit them in. Whatever you wanna do, get, them, get the surface clean and flat. Once all these nails are in, you're going to want to get a leaf blower and you're going to blow off the roof. You're going to make sure that it's clean, gets all the excess felt, um, asphalt, dirt, grime, whatever, off that roof to recover. Um, next, you're going to install your eave metal. Your eave metal, very simple to install. You lay it, you nail it off. If you get to a corner, you cut it so it bends across the corner, you nail it. Once this is done, you can begin to lay your shingles. Now. For laying shingles, you're going to have to lay felt. Felt was an underlayment in case something happens to the shingle. It will stop the water from going into the OSB board to cause damage. Um, to do felt, you just roll it out, make sure it's straight, and button cap it off. Button cap are just little nails with button caps. Um, they're usually green or orange. or They come in all colors. Once the felt's done, you're going to want someone to hand you these shingles up. Now, we used to walk these up um, on our shoulders up a ladder but we get into where that's starting to take a toll on our body. So we use forklifts or ladder vaders to hand the shingles up to us or we can get them then and take them to the ridge. You want it at the ridge so they don't slide off and cause any damage or hurt anyone. Now, most roofs take about three pallets. Um, one pallet is 40 bundles. A bundle weighs about 75, 80 pounds, depending on the kind of shingle it is. Once you get all these at the ridge, you can begin to lay shingles. The first thing you want to do is pop lines. This helps to make sure that your shingles come out straight. Um, that way you get 100% customer satisfaction. You want it straight as possible. Um, once you pop these lines, you can begin to lay shingles. We always go left to right, but while we're going left to right, we kind of go bottom to top because the bottom takes a little longer because it's an uncomfortable position. You can't really see what you're doing. Now, once you got all the shingles laid, you're going to run into vent pipes and boots and sunlights and uh, chimneys for the vent pipes and stuff like that you're gonna have to place new boots for the sunlights um you're gonna have to do proper caulking and for chimneys you're gonna have to do proper flashing this helps prevent leaks once this is done you're gonna install your ridge cap or ridge vent ridge vent helps ventilate the roof depending on what all they got inside their home ridge cap just seals that that ridge off once this is done you're going to clean everything up, cut all the edges to make sure that no shingles are hanging over. They're all the same length and straight and pretty. Then you're just going to load everything up, clean the job site, and you have successfully installed a new roof. Now all you have to do is receive payment.